So I don't know how many of you guys actually watched my ghost upload that I uploaded about a week ago from now, but basically throughout that video, I feel as though it's a very intriguing and interesting video. So the reason I'm doing the little commentary right now, I'm kind of shouting that video out. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. There will be a link down in the description. But basically guys, throughout that video, I had a really cool skit. I titled it Life Without a Phone, because if you don't know already, I got robbed $650. He took my phone, so I don't have a phone. So hence my pin tweet at the moment is Life Without a Phone. And it's a screenshot of me eating my kangaroo burgers on my red couch. Yes, I'm Australian and I eat my own native animals, the kangaroo of course, but it's freaking delicious. And also guys, read that video I actually had Did Someone Say Donga Part 2. So once again guys, the link's down in the description if you want to see it. Like I said, as the video progresses, it gets much better and it's a really interesting, cool kind of video. Speaking about some interesting uploads guys, we're about to jam some Black Ops 3, we're hitting some non-setup smokers and we're kicking things off here on the map Combine. Now, I believe I'm mentioned before but Black Ops 3 is like the perfect game along with Black Ops 2 for hitting non-setup trick shots. Like there's just so many combos you can go for. You can spawn the bots and you can disable their weapons. They're not like the freaking bots on Ghost and Modern Warfare Remastered where they freaking just chase you and hunt you down. These bots kind of just do their own thing which makes it quite easy to get like nice attempts and stuff like that. And you may notice I have made some really dope classes here. So I think for our first shot we're going to be running the Locust here with FMJ, Rapid Fire and ACOG. With the KRM, with this thing, I believe this is called a camera spike, and with my EMPs, of course. Holy shit, there is a lot of bots here. Well, it's very easy to get the last two, which is another cool thing about this game. And we're only one kill off last right now. I might actually go for the two-piece. Alrighty, can he do anything special? Okay, I'm trash. I haven't played this game for a while, guys. Well, that was actually kind of a lie. I tried making a video on this game last night with two of my friends. However, the video kind of failed. So, I might show you guys real quick just some highlights from last night. Donga. Freck, man. I called I it. Think? And of course, I didn't jump off. I always call oh, my geez. shots, dude. Always. I didn't jump off, but it's a mad combo. I like fake silent shotted. Fake silent shotted again. And then, obviously, I shot mm. there. And smoke at. Oh. oh, I hit. I hit oh. Was it a diner? I might have slowed down the spin. I think, I don't know. Nah, I'll assess the situation. Obviously, guys, when we hit shots, they've got to be, you know, a nice usable kind of shot. Oh, no, dude, that's definitely usable. That's nice. Okay, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Oh, no. Free! Oh. <laughs> I'm so garbage. I never. This is the first time I didn't jump off. Ram. I had like double, two or three fake silent shots. Wow, clean. You've done that twice. Frick. Can I get a whip in the chat? I'm so, dude, I'm trash. Kill one. Call it if you got it. Think you got it. Think you got it. Ram! Oh, I'm trash! <laughs> <laughs> Everything I do is just dumb good. <laughs> oh, dude. Imagine. Imagine it. Look, I should have got that first shot on this. And then look at this. What are the chances? Oh, dude, the timing. And renders about half so fine. Yeah. Oh, a frick! Yes, he threw it up again. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> So bad! <laughs> no, it's like, it's just too close. I'm um, still doing me fake silent shot combos because I want to hit it. Look at this, I thought I hit cross map. Alrighty guys, can we hit the smoker? I don't know. Stay tuned to find out. Holy shit, okay, I cannot time my spins right now. This is the problem with this game, there's a lot of spins involved. I'm not too used to it because obviously I've been jamming a lot of Modern Warfare Remastered recently, so I've got to get the gist of things. And once I get into it, guys, trust me, I'll be hitting smokers for you guys. All right, we're back, folks. Let's try it again. Ah, shit, okay, I'm freaking terrible. I'm doing like a nice kind of fake silent shot combo here, and then I shoot and pull out my camera spot but I freaking just build the kid climbing up there. But guys, don't worry. I've actually turned rounds on. That's another cool kind of feature about this game. So I don't have to, you know, kind of like restart the whole game. I mean, I get to last and we just get back in with it. Alrighty, boys. Maybe we'll try backdropping this. All right, come on. Can we time the shot? There we go. That's what we're looking for, guys. We've already got it back. Alrighty, guys. We're coming back to this spot because this is where I really want to hit the smoker from. Like, I'm actually in love with... Okay, we're trash. All right, take three, boys. Come on. Come on in, Smicer. You've got this, buddy. 
There we go. That's what we're looking for. There was like three bots there as well. Like I could have freaking smoked it. The only problem with this game, guys, you may notice, like kind of watch closely. Like every time I hit a build throughout this video, you'll notice like the bots aren't even in the middle of my crosshairs. Like I swear every time you hit a donger on this game, the bots are in freaking Narnia. But just, I don't know, the bullet trail on this game is so wacky that, you know, you just freaking aim anywhere and you hit a donger. Come on, bot. He's running past, boys. This is it. I missed the fake silent shot, but it doesn't. Oh, dude. That would have been a nice, like, distance kind of smoker right there, boys and girls. What about this combo, guys? I reckon we zoom in with this because... Oh, dude, that would have been dope. I, like, put up the scoreboard and everything. That would have been freaking steezy. Oh, dude, just imagine. That would have been so clean. I love this backdrop here over the fence. Change of class, guys. We've put on the C4 because I really want to utilize that dark glitch. As you guys have probably seen me do before in, like, previous videos, like, utilizing this dark glitch, you can be so creative. Would you look at this, guys? I've utilized the dark glitch, and now we can be creative. Now we can hit, like, some crazy stinkers over the wall there, down to mid. Honestly, it's a freaking insane spot. Oh my god, I'm telling you guys, I freaking love this game. This game is just like, it's so perfect for private match. Like, I don't know, like I was saying earlier, you can just be so creative. There's so many combos you can go for. I freaking love it. I actually forgot, guys, that you can actually go for wall runs on this game. So we're going to give this a... Oh my god, I freaking timed that perfect, like, first attempt too. But I guess that's another cool feature about this game. Obviously, you know, since you got the hover kind of shit, like I said, you can do the dark glitch, you can do wall runs, or you can simply just, you know, just backdrop off ground or something like that. There's just so many different stuff you can do. And I think that's why so many people link me Black Ops 3 clips to my clips of the month. Just because, like I said, you can be so creative. So it makes it perfect for, like, you know, trying to at least achieve that first place position in my clips of the month. Oh, shit, you are trash. You know what's funny about this, guys? I was purposely going for this kid standing here. I don't know what it is, but when you play Combine, sometimes a bot's to stand on this spot for like a couple minutes, and I freaking donged it. I was purposely going for this kid, and I freaking smacked him. Imagine if that was online. I could have had a freaking bill cam right there. Anyways, guys, I'll be seeing you fellas on map number two. Real quick, guys, with the shot I just hit, I was actually using the suppressor variant on the SVG. So, obviously, here's the default variant. It doesn't look too fancy, but I use this one here, the executioner variant. Honestly, it looks so freaking dope on the SVG. Like, I love the feeling of hitting a silent shot. I don't know what it is, but just the kind of the tick sound. I don't know. It's just so clean, so nice. I've actually got a bloke coming over to my house in 45 minutes time guys because he's going to be fixing my air conditioner now the aircon is directly out my door so we've only got 45 minutes to hit this shot if i don't he's going to be out there listening to me doing a commentary listening to me reacting to hitting trick shots so obviously that's going to be pretty embarrassing like just imagine him working out there and all he hears i hit a freaking donger <laughs> Yeah, that will be kind of awkward, wouldn't it? I should actually be keeping you guys updated on the whole robbery situation, as I mentioned in my Call of Duty Ghost upload. But basically, the cops apparently 99% know who the bloke is. Now, I don't know if that necessarily means they've caught him or they've found him. He must just be a previous criminal offender. So that means, obviously, they've already got his details, so his name, where he lives, his address, all that kind of shit. So I'm hoping they should be able to catch this guy sometime very soon. Unless they're just trying to make me feel good by saying, hey, we 99% know who this bloke is, where in reality, they only 1% know who this bloke is, if that makes sense at all. <laughs> Alrighty, boys, we're at last. If you happen not to realize already, we are playing the Standoff remake. I believe this map here is called Outlaw, but don't quote me on that. And I'm going for a pretty fancy kind of combo here. I love the fact that you can backdrop this fence here. Like, once again, guys, it's just another one of those really creative spots. So I could be going... <sighs> Almost freaking smoked that bot. Oh, dude, I'm like just shooting over the fence. I wish I had like a tiny bit more height, but honestly, I think this will have to do. Unless I go for something like this. Okay, that would have been really trash. Well, whilst I got you guys here listening up to me, I might actually address the whole, I guess, Call of Duty community kind of situation. So, obviously, at the moment, I guess you could say the community just isn't as hyped as what it was like last year or maybe two years ago, for example. And I think that's simply because, obviously, Infinite Warfare, well, in my opinion anyway, I think that game's pretty trash. And on top of that, Modern Warfare Remastered, that is like a decent game. But I guess the only situation with that game is that 
there's not too many combos you can really go for. And because of that, guys, I think the game gets, like, very dry very quickly. Like, I believe, like, I've literally hit every single combo in that game already in private matches, what I mean. So there's not, like, you know, too much I can really do now. So that's kind of, like, the reason I'm not playing the game anymore. Well, at least not playing private match anymore. Because, like I said, there's just literally nothing more I can go for. I've hit everything. So what the frick do I do? And I think that's kind of the whole situation with that game. Like, I believe everyone's already watched every combo that, you know, is possible on that game. So, obviously, it gets pretty dry and pretty boring real quick. Because when you watch Trick Shining, you want to see new stuff. You want to see new combos. You want to see people hit from these creative spots and everything like that. But on MWR, everything's already been done. So, now all we're doing is re-watching previous kind of stuff that's already been done. So, obviously, the community is kind of lacking in that perspective. And it's kind of slowing down. But I feel as though next year we're going to be having a banger Call of Duty. And if it's not next year, the following year will have to be that year where we just get like a really really dope Call of Duty. And I'm getting those oh you little bastard. A freaking trophy system. I did not know trophy systems can actually kill human beings. Like, how does this kill someone? Oh, he's trying to shoot a freaking spear at it. The little bastard, that's what he freaking gets. You trash. But yeah, back to the Call of Duty community situation. Like, I've been really, you know, sticking up for MWR. Everyone's been talking trash on it. I've been like, hey, you know what, guys? It's actually a really fun, really enjoyable game. Which, obviously, it is. But, like I said, it just gets... Oh, shit, I'm not at last. Die, you little bastards. Dude, this is what I love about the... Ah, freak. Alrighty, so where were we? Like I was saying, guys, normally I'm the bloke that sticks up for MWR. But recently, like I said, I've hit every single combo there is in private match. And because of that, I've got a little burnt out on MWR. And to make matters worse, I guess in private match, you can't, like, disable enemy weapons and stuff, and the bots are just freaking beasts on that game, so it does make it quite difficult to actually hit some insane dongers on it. And in general, I guess it just makes it a little more boring. But I guess the cool thing about private match, it doesn't really matter if I go back to old CODs, because I don't need to worry about finding lobbies and shit like that. Obviously, I can just jump on, spawn bots in, and just hit some smokers whenever the frick I feel like. And that's why I love private match so freaking much. Like, like, so many people don't understand that hitting private match shots isn't just like you spawn in, you hit a dong within five minutes. Like, sometimes you can grind for shots, and it's a lot more difficult than what people actually think. But, you know, for someone like Inky, who's the king of freaking hitting private match smokers, you know, I just hit within, like, two attempts. Yeah, I'm joking for the people that are actually taking me serious, because I feel as though people be like, hey, you're up yourself, Inky. Alrighty, boys, I think it's that time of day. It's time we get in a cool kind of dark glitch position, and I hit a crazy smoker for you, fellas. Would you look at that? I spawned right in front of it, and yeah, we simply get on here, and now we hit over the top like, oh my god, just imagine. Oh shit, let's go. This is such a donger, guys. This is what we're talking about. Dude, I've, oh, I've said it many times now. I freaking love this game. It was a similar shot to my... um to the last map though, but I did change it up a bit. I used the C4, hit the freaking wall bang. Let's go boys and girls, yes. I'm telling you boys and girls, I freaking love this game. I just wish I hit with the Dracorn, but hey, it is what it is. Anyways guys, we're gonna be wrapping up the video here because like I said, the aircon bloke is coming over very soon and I don't want him at the front of my bedroom listening to me making a Call of Duty freaking commentary. Before I go guys, I just wanna shout out another video of mine. My previous upload, Floaters episode 25. Basically, I combined all my 24 previous episodes of Floaters into the one video, recorded all the highlights. It was honestly such a dope video. Basically, in that video, it's got every single floater I hit, plus like some little highlight commentary kind of things. So if you want to check it out, once again, the link will be down in the description, along with my ghost upload. It's honestly a banger of an upload, guys. Like, it's seriously one of my favorite videos ever on this YouTube channel. Because it really goes to show how far I came, from my very first episode of doing floaters, all the way through to episode 24. You see me kind of adding these cool kind of editing features that, you know, just makes each episode that much better than the previous. But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you did. Actually, don't let me know if you did. I don't know why I say that. I'm just kind of going along with like what all other YouTubers do. It's kind of just a line you're saying when you're doing your outro. I might just make up my own line. Um, I'm going to go. Enjoy your day. Yeah, bye. <laughs>